look at this and I look at the things of I'm curious like where would the intentioning stand as a word? Is it is it is it aspiration? Is it more towards ambition? Like how, where do you where do you place this in, in, in sort of in in my psyche of finding a growth? I'm curious. Mm-hmm. So I differentiate between ambition and intention. Ambition is good. You need ambition. Ambition is I hope, I wish, I want, mm. I dream. Ambition is the fuel, but intention takes that fuel and makes it happen. So intention is I will, I am, I see myself already doing it. It's going to happen. It's ha- it's that it's that it's it kind of ratcheted up to another level and and it it, it really it really makes it, it's a different way of thinking about what you're going to do and i think you know the people who are most successful have a lot of that intention they are intentioning they aren't just ambitious they aren't just wishing and hoping they're doing and sometimes when they do they fail the first time they pick themselves up they find another way or they learn something new and they keep going toward their goal. And that's the difference between ambition and intention. And in the book, I have what I call the VCA method of intentioning. And I, to tell you a quick personal story about it, I, I this has been a personal metaphor for me since I took a hike. I was on a beautiful hike in New Zealand on the Milford Track, which is one of the most beautiful hikes in the world. But I had failed to do some research before the hike. I happened to be terrified of suspension bridges. I freeze up. I know I'm going to die. I'm going to fall into the raging river. I'm going to fall into the jagged rocks. I'm going to, it's going to be the end of me. It's that swaying of the ridge that just like it just I, I'm not in control. Well, I didn't realize until I started that I would have to cross 22 suspension bridges from the beginning to the end of the hike. And it's one of those hikes that you have a you have a guide so you can't go back. Hmm. Nobody can go on this hike without somebody taking them along. It's because they keep it very pristine hmm. and you have to go with you have to go with this, with the guide. Okay, so I'm standing at the first suspension bridge, and I feel myself getting that feeling of I'm terrified, I'm freezing up, I'm holding onto my walking stick like it's going to save my life, which of course it won't. Mm. And I'm looking at this bridge, and it's waving back and forth. It's a little rickety wooden bridge with little wires on the side. Not, I mean, you know, it was. It was pretty scary. And people are lining up behind me. This bridge is so rickety that only one person can cross at a time. And so I know I have to do something. Hmm. And I finally, I finally realize, okay, here's what you do. You put your vision on the other side where you have to end up. Don't look down at the raging water. Don't look at the sides, the, the rocks. Hmm. Put your vision on that other side. You have to have the courage to believe you can get across. Just suck it up. Have the courage to believe you can. And then you have to put one foot in front of the other, in front of the other. You have to take the action to get yourself across. And I made it across. And the thing is, I never lost my fear of suspension bridges. Mm. But I realized that I could do it. So it didn't get a lot easier, but it, I, I wasn't afraid anymore. I knew I could do it, but it took the vision, it took the courage, and it took the action. Hmm. So that's one of, the, one of the chapters in the book is how, that's, how you, that's how you get to this concept of intentioning, is you, you think about it in those terms, VCA, vision, courage, action. Nice, nice. And, and thank you for sharing that personal story. I think it's, it's pretty remarkable and pretty... Re- Relatable to many of us in some or the other uh, other construct. So, um, who is the ideal reader for this book? Like, who do you wrote this? Uh, who is the ideal reader that you envisioned uh, while writing this? You know, 
I don't think there is an ideal leader. In, in, in my observation through the years, there are so many ways to be a great leader. But you, it starts with being who you are. It starts with knowing what your assets are and what your limitations are. I mean, I know that I'm terrible at detail things. I, you know, I will decide we can do something and I'll just say we're going to do it. I will have no idea what are all the nuts and bolts that have to be attended to in order to make that happen. I have to have people on my team who can say to me, look, <laughs> Gloria, this is what it's going to take. You're going to need this much time, this much money, this many people. I, I won't know that. I, I will never, you know, I will just believe that something can happen. And usually it can. But then there are other leaders who are very good at knowing how you actually construct things and how you make things work together. So you need to know what your strengths and weaknesses are because there's no one person who's great at everything. Mm. There just isn't. And so that's, that's why I say there are so many kinds of leaders. I mean, often people think that you can't be an introvert and be a good leader. And like you said, you you know you're you're kind of an introvert from what you said to me. I I, I think, but I, introverts are great leaders mm. if you know you're an introvert and you leverage what you bring. Mm. You're probably more sensitive to what people are thinking and feeling than those of us who just kind of go gangbusters all the time. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you 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 got to know yourself. Again, that's leadership intentioning tool number one. Mm. uncover yourself mm. and 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 so there isn't any one kind of, of great leader but i do think every great leader knows knows herself or himself and does have a fair amount of courage to actually you have to be you have to be intentioning you have to do your you have to be willing to actually act and do things mm -hmm.